Hello, welcome back to the Antisocial Club. I'm Diamond Alexis. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I make my crochet do rags that went viral on TikTok. It's super easy to follow. I mean, very easy tutorial. If y'all have any questions, please put them down below. I will literally answer every question. Um, be sure to read the description as well. If you have any questions, I might have answered them there. You're going to need a size 8 and 6 hook, some pins, yarn needles, scissors, and size 4 acrylic yarn. Hopefully y'all like this video and I will see y'all at the end. You're gonna start off by making a slip knot. You just put your fingers through and grab the end yarn. Pull it through. So my do-rags come in three different sizes, or well they come in three different lengths. Today I'm gonna be doing a, a long length. <laughs> I cannot talk. So for long length, you're going to chain 80. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once you have 80, what I like to do is I like to put my hand right where the 80 is. So right here. I chain four, so one, two, three, four, yarn over, and then right where my finger is on this loop, you're gonna put it in and then do a half double crochet. So like that. And then you're gonna do a half double crochet all the way down the chain. So you just half double crochet, which is yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through three. You're gonna do that all the way down. Okay, now that we're at the very end, you have your very last half double crochet. What we're gonna do is chain four. So one, two, three, four. And we were working, we were working this way. So you want to do, you want to work the opposite way now. So you want to go back. So you're just going to turn your work. So now we're going to work, now we're going to work that way. So after you chain four, so this counts as a double crochet, the chain. So you're going to skip one. You're going to skip one, which is this open part that's connected to the chain and you're gonna go into the next one yarn over and do a double crochet so this row was half double crochet and then now we're doing double crochets after you do a double crochet you want to chain one you're gonna skip a stitch go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. So yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then you're gonna chain one. And you're just gonna keep doing that. So yarn over, skip a stitch, go through the next stitch, double crochet, yarn one, skip a stitch, double crochet, yarn one, skip a stitch, double crochet, yarn one and technically I think this is called a mesh stitch so it'll look like this and you want to go all the way down and I'll sh come back when I go all the way down to the end chain one so when you get to the very end you'll see it's like skip a stitch so I don't go into the actual stitch I go into this big hole right here so 
So we yarn over, go through the hole, double crochet, and then chain four. One, two, three, four. Again, you want to go back the other way, so you're going to turn your work. And now you can see like where you would go in. So you would go in here on top of the previous double crochet. And you just do the same thing all the way down. And you're gonna do this for 10 rows. So I don't count where we did the half double crochet. What I do is I count the circles. So this is one row, two rows, and you're gonna do this for 10 rows. So it'll be 10 rows. So when we get to 10 rows, I'll be back and I'll show you all what to do after that. So again, we're at the end. Um, double crochet. You want to go into the hole. Double crochet into the hole. One, two, three, four. Turn. Okay, now I'm at the very end. So, gonna go into the hole, double crochet, kind of one, two, three, four, chain four, turn your work. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So after you train four and turn your work, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 16 double crochets. And this counts as one. So double crochet, 15, 16. Once you get to 16, you're going to chain 80. Just like how you did the beginning, you're gonna chain 80. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, nine, eighty. So once you get to eighty, what you're gonna do is do like how we did at the beginning. You're gonna put your finger right here where we did the eighty. Put your finger, then a chain four. So one, two, three, four. But this time, instead of going this way, you're going to turn the chain around and you're gonna go in that way. Oops. And you're gonna double crochet. So you're gonna do like how we're doing for the base. You're gonna chain one, you're going to a stitch so you're gonna skip that one go in here double crochet chain one skip double crochet into the next one chain one skip double crochet it should be the right amount and then you'll just connect it into the slot where it goes right there where it connects back to the base of the do-rag so we just continue like normal so again at the end one two three four you're gonna turn and you're gonna go back and this is gonna be our last row okay so now we're at the end of the strap I guess that's what you should call it and oops I'm gonna put one in there and remember you're going to put one in the very last hole as well so You're going to chain one and you're going to pull it tight. 
so it kind of creates like a knot. And you're gonna take your scissors you're just going to cut it and you're going to want to pull it like that this is what it'll look like this is the bottom there's the strap and then there's the top and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, gonna uh, you're gonna want to do this again so you want two pieces so it'll look like this so you'll have two pieces so in order to put the do-rag together you're gonna want to line them up I line them up like this you're gonna take your little I don't know what these are called they're like pins I guess but you're gonna want to take some you're gonna take that I clip this part first I go down to this one. I put one right here. You're gonna go down to the very bottom. So you're gonna turn it down. I mean, turn it around. <clears throat> you're gonna put one here. put one on the other side you're basically matching them up then what you're gonna do is for this part that has the little strings what you're going to do is you're gonna make sure that everything is matched up you're gonna fold it over so I go about that far you're gonna do it on the other side. So, they'll match up. And then, what I do is I take my pin and then I go through all four layers and I pin it. That way, it's on the other side as well. And once that's done, I like to put a pin about here and boom you have how it's supposed to be we're gonna take our same yarn and we're gonna take our six millimeter hook you're gonna make a slip knot like we did at the beginning and then you're gonna want to go into the very first hole right here and you're gonna, what is this? Single crochet. Put it in, grab the yarn, yarn over, go through two. And that's a single crochet. And I just do that about maybe five times. And what I'm gonna do is this is lined up there's like a gap here you're gonna go in between those two gaps on both sides because remember they're lined up so they should be exactly the same on both sides so you just go through that single cro crochet go through the big hole single crochet you just want to do that all the way down you're gonna still single crochet but this time what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, grab where it folds over and matches so like these two match so you're just gonna single crochet there gonna just go through these two you want to make sure you're going through both sides this part doesn't have to be perfect I literally am just going through like random spaces I see and making sure that it not only grabs this side but the other side as well so I just go through random holes I mean literally 
I don't do this part the same every single time because I literally just go through random holes whatever matches up as long as I'm grabbing both sides I just go through sometimes you can see where they match on both sides other times you can't so it makes it a little difficult to see um, but yeah I'm just gonna go through it'll look like that see it started to curve so what you're gonna do when you get here which is the um, seam part right you're gonna start to see it match up again so you have these two parts right which is both sides of the do-rag what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through this and go through the other side as well single crochet and you can see like right here there's a gap so you're just gonna go through that and go to the other side do it one more time go through the other side and then that's it for our single crochets so this is when I start to switch to the um, needles. So what we're gonna do is get a needle. I get the one with the wide opening. You're gonna take some string. This is still connected to the yarn. So you're gonna cut some off. I would cut off a good length because you don't want to have to make it too short. So you, it's better to be too long than too short. And then I take my yarn and I feed it through the needle. What you're gonna do now is tighten that. You're gonna go through this. And you're gonna let me see if I can zoom it in. You're gonna you're gonna pull. I start from the back side, so this side. You're gonna go in. Again, you're gonna look for like you can see the like openings here, so you can like see them. So you're gonna want to go through those, so I can see where it is there. Remember, you have these little clip things here to make sure it's evened out so you're just gonna go through the back side and you're just gonna pull it through and see how that makes it kind of not so bulky it makes it kind of flesh and I just go through one more, one more time through the back side, through that same hole, and just pull. Boom. Right? Now, what we're going to do is kind of weave. We're going to weave in and out like that. So we're going to go in. Out in out in out and you're just gonna pull just like that and see it'll be like that. 
you're gonna do that all the way down so you're just gonna go in out in out okay so once you get down to the end gonna go through I try to catch these two little V's go through them pull like so do these two just like so And what we're gonna do instead of going back in this way we're gonna come back this way and what it's gonna do is make a loop around so see it made a loop go back that way go under the yarn make another loop one more time under the yarn Make a loop. So, gotta take this out. So now that that is finished, what we're gonna do is make this much shorter. So I cut it to about here. Gonna thread this up again. And what we're gonna do is just weave in all the ends now. So I just randomly go through like random stuff. Do it like that. Okay, so that's it. So this is the inside of the durag, of course. So you're just gonna turn it inside out and boom. You have yourself a complete do-rag so yeah thank y'all so much for watching hopefully this was very easy to follow please like and subscribe i do have more videos coming out in the future um if you have any questions leave a comment and i will see y'all in the next video